on the Mount Sicker property, we're headed into Copper Canyon Creek. If you look on most maps, this creek's actually labeled as Holyoke Creek, but Holyoke Creek is actually on Mount Brenton on the other side, which comes from Holyoke Lake up on the top of Brenton. So, this is a creek, which is a seasonal creek, and there's probably still a little bit of water flowing right now, but not a lot. And uh, you have a fault following the creek with quite a few smaller showings of sulfides, mostly pyrite, calcopyrite lenses and pyrite, calcopyrite and quartz veins. Quite a bit of sticks and debris in here. There's a forest fire in this area in 2021, I believe. And uh, you can see all the burnt stumps and everything. So, haven't been here since then. This is a mineralized area here. You have sulfides, quartz. Definitely more has cleared from the forest fire and all their water washing in. But also there's a lot more sticks and debris inside. So up here, there's a one meter wide quartz vein that is not mineralized other than the occasional speck of pyrite. Down here you have a bit of mineralization. You have a little bit of calcopyrite, but a one centimeter little vein there and some disseminated sulfides. We're gonna go down and sample an area where there's a bit more mineralization. As you can see, there's areas all along here with little bits of sulfides, quartz. All along in there. You can see another giant quartz vein here. From there, all the way up to there, exposed. And you have little bits of sulfides on it, little tiny lenses underneath. More quartz down there. So this is interesting. From right here, over here, and up to that area there. This is a width of about four meters. This is all quartz on top of here. I've hammered a couple pieces open, and there's very finely disseminated calcopyrite. It's not intensely mineralized or anything, but it is mineralized a little bit. Here is a piece of the quartz vein. Disseminated pyrite. So everything runs this way down the creek. You can see veining going across the creek in multiple areas. Here's another area. You see all this quartz here. Lines up with that there. From that edge right there to about there, that's about four meters wide. You can see, again, you have more quartz. You have a bit of sulfides in there. If you take a look at this right here, this is an actual sulfide vein beside it. Running all the way down. There's another one there. You can see Down here, visible sulfides there, sulfides all along in there. And if you follow this whole creek, you see quartz veining and sulfides cutting through this whole creek, going all the way down. We're gonna find the 
the best looking vein at the widest point or the best area in this creek and sample that. You can see right here, this is all sulfides from right here to right there. That is about 20 centimeters wide following up the center of the creek there. As you can see here, this along with the vein branch there, these all come down narrow here. You can see there and along here and these connect right in the center there and head down that way. So this is most likely one vein system running up this whole creek, this whole fault. More quartz there. Looks like most of the mineralization is actually outside the quartz in uh, sulfide lenses, massive sulfide lenses. And just to show you that this is sulfides, you can see a little chip from there. You can see a little chip from there. Okay, there you go. There's the first lens right here. This is the second one. You can see I chipped a piece from right there. There's another piece there. That is from right there. Coming down here, width of here to the edge of here. This is about 20, 25 centimeters. More sulfides. And these look like they all converge coming down. Took those three samples from up there. There's more sulfides in here. You can see this area here is all sulfides. Just chipped a little piece off. Pyrite, calcopyrite. So from the first area of mineralization where we came in, we're about 75 meters below that. That four meter wide quartz vein up there is 40 meters away. And those three samples we took are on this little ledge here. More sulfides over there that we just showed. You can see the center of this right here. This is a sulfide vein. And this is about six to eight centimeters wide. There's sulfides all in there as well. Sulfides there. So this is one continuous vein, or one continuous zone of mineralization. You can see it all in the ledge right here too, so 30 centimeters wide. Let's see how far this goes. Now from the edge right there, another five meters away, you have sulfides running through here. You have sulfides all through here. Looks like about 25 centimeters wide there. So this is exposed over 50 meters so far. Okay, we got massive sulfides in here. We got massive sulfides all along in here to about here. I can see some malachite staining there. And you can see heavy oxidation on there. So this looks like it's very incompletely exposed. But it's a 50 centimeter wide area here with mineralization and this is traceable over 50 meters so far. So here's some of the samples so far I've been pulling out a few from here and some from here. Take a look at this. Massive sulfides. That 
piece here came directly from right there five seconds ago. See the malachite staining in there? Look at these pieces. So this is where I've been sampling here. Move over another five meters. Continues here. Continues along here. Look at the mineralization. All down in here. Massive calcopyrite. All through here. Some quartz mixed in there. You have sulfides down here. Going down over the bank here and continuing that way. There's a waterfall over there. So we've exposed this now over 75 meters. And we're gonna take a couple samples, just a couple grab samples. This is a very nice mineralized area. So this is actually on strike of the old Lenora Tai Richard III kilometer that way. Couple more samples here. So I'm pulling off some samples here. You can see here going over to there. First couple areas that I've chipped into. Here's one. And here's number two. We're gonna hammer these open. Well, that's got some weight to it. Let's hammer these open and see what's inside. There's the first piece. Here's some of the second piece. Take a look at this. Massive sulfides. That is a huge hefty piece from right there. I'm going to bust it a little more and then we're going to go down creek a little bit. All right, so pulled in another big chunk from up here and right here you have mineralized quartz. Nice calcopyrite attached to this. Was your sulfide lens like that, as you can see here. It's a really nice showing. So now we're five meters down. Mineralization exposed up to about here, down to here. So it's 50 centimeters wide, just over 50 centimeters wide here. And I just chipped off the first piece from right here. You can see. Pyrite mixed with calcopyrite, and look at that calcopyrite. Beautiful. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. That is beautiful stuff. We're gonna get another piece from here. We're gonna get a grab sample, as well as a sample from up here, following this. Taking some samples from here. See the calcopyrite.
So we got enough samples, I think, from this area. We got about five bags full. We got one last piece here we pulled out. Copper Canyon Creek. Gotta love finding a vein exposed over a hundred meter length. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Copper Canyon Creek and this is the copper showing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.